I swear I saw something move back there. It's as if someone was trying to get in or out. Oh my god. What the hell is that? What date is it? I'm hoping that's paint. I honestly feel like there's somebody else in the room with me. Something physically touched me that's never happened to me. I would love for it to happen again. I'm like burning up. Oh my god. Guys, check out this dagger. Oh. Where the Freemasons perform their rituals. What the f***? Keepers, thank you so much for tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are back at the very haunted Grand Lodge of the Freemasons here in Adelaide. This is a location that we have filmed before on my channel and we have returned because you guys have asked for it. My last episodes on this place are linked below, so definitely check them out. We picked up so much activity here that I was honestly shocked. I just had to come back, so stay tuned. The Grand Lodge of the Freemasons in Adelaide has long been rumored to be haunted. The building dates back to the 1920s and acts as a base for the Freemasons to perform their rituals and a number of other purposes. Despite there being no reported deaths within the Grand Lodge, many have reported to encounter the paranormal within it. From sighting strange lights to full-bodied apparitions of both men and women, we've even had some of our own strange encounters at the Lodge, so decided to return for a follow-up investigation as has been heavily requested by you all, the Crypt Keepers. Here we are, sitting in the basement We're back. of the Grand Lodge. It feels so nice to be back. Yeah, I miss this place. It's really cool. So for those of you who haven't watched my previous series on the Grand Lodge of the Freemasons, I highly recommend it. I'm going to link it below. So many interesting things happen. For me, one of the most interesting things was quite personal. It's not something that I could show you evidence-wise. It, to me, when I was downstairs alone, packing up equipment, so I had no cameras rolling, uh, I felt as though something poked me in the head. Like this? Yeah. So something poked me in the head down here and then if you have watched my previous series on that, you know I had a whole string of eye problems following that and that is why now I'm wearing glasses. <laughs> so I've always wondered whether it was, you know, a sign from somebody saying, hey, go get your eyes checked out. There's something seriously wrong in there that could be very dangerous to your eyesight. Um, but yeah, I can't say it's paranormal, but it was very peculiar and I've never experienced that anywhere, ever. I think we've got, probably got some footage of you reacting to it. Yeah, I've got some of that. Yeah. Really weird. Is there someone here? And I felt something touch my hair, like, and my head. So the cool thing is that happened right here, right? Just to my left, right here was where this, that happened. This chair wasn't there then. No, things have moved around a little bit in here since we were last year, which was, I don't know, a couple of months ago. But yeah, we captured so many other interesting pieces of evidence. Upstairs in the Glover room, we had a lot of noises coming from one of the doors into the Freemasons ritual room that supposedly they do get a lot of activity around. Yeah, it sounded like, like there was a door squeaking in there. It was as if someone was trying to get in or out. And we also picked up the most peculiar looking light anomaly or orb. I don't know how to describe it on the Ghost Tube SLS. No actual figures, but mm. this orb, I still cannot explain it. It's definitely not a light reflection off of anything we had on us or anything in the room or from the street below. Oh, we're not really big orb people. Like a lot of them are, are, are normally dust or a bug, but this one like moves in a peculiar way. And it's think, a yeah. weird shape as well. I don't know what it was. Oh, there were so many things. The elevator as well. Yeah, that was weird. So there's a story that the elevator moves on its own a lot, which, you know, it's an old elevator, so granted that could happen. Um, but they've had it, cameras looking at it and like their face mapping on the cameras track a person coming out of the elevator when there's nobody there. Mm. And the elevator did move on its own for us when we had a static camera watching mm. it last time we were here. Some of you mentioned in the comments that it could be an elevator that returns to the ground floor, like that is its default. So I reckon that's something we could test out tonight and mm. see if it happens again.
Uh, we also had some words come through in the Great Hall, or the Grand Hall, uh, that were related to this place formerly being used as a wartime hospital. And I wasn't even aware that it was, you know, used as that whilst we were doing our initial investigation. I realised that later. Can you tell me something about this room? That we hospital. Isn't the hospital like next door? There's a hospital, uh, there used to be a hospital across the road. Oh my God, do you remember that really loud noise as well when we were in the front lobby? No oh, idea what yeah. that was. On that second floor. And it, yeah. it's weird because people have actually sighted a female figure walking yeah. along that sort of, what do you call that, balcony? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that was really cool. And I heard that and I was, I was actually filming at the time as yeah, well. Yeah, so we've co we captured that on camera, it's just great. The hell? There's someone up there. You heard that? I did, yep. So I'm really keen to get into things tonight. We have a lot of areas to cover. I feel good that I've covered a lot of what happened to us last time for you guys, but seriously go back and watch those previous episodes because there's even more that, you know, I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you everything that happened. You have to go and watch them. Now, we're probably gonna do some things where we split up maybe. Uh, take different areas of the place. Uh, also, a lot of the, the hot spots that I want to cover are similar to the ones we investigated last time. I really want to see if we can get, you know, activity that is similar or that is different or that is relevant. And I'm particularly interested in the basement tonight because I did have that personal the experience. Tap head thing. Yeah, last time. I guess so. I'll head upstairs then. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Cool. Let's get going. All right guys, so Jared and I each have a camera. We're currently filming each other, <laughs> uh, but we're about to split up. So I'm gonna stay downstairs here in the basement because this place just feels like I've had the most here in the past. Something physically touched me that's never happened to me. I would love for it to happen again. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna take the haunted elevator. Yes, the haunted elevator. And we'll test whether it comes back to the ground floor or not. And I might go to the Glover room because that's where we heard that door jiggling and mm -hmm, that. Mm -hmm. So, so that's on the third floor, right? Yes. Third floor it is. So that's where I'm going. Cool. Um, so yeah, just keep the elevator on the third floor if that's where you're going. Mm -hmm. And then if it comes back down, crazy. Now what I'm going to do as well is, so we're currently standing in the basement. So if we come out this way, that is the elevator where Jared is about to go in. So maybe you can call the elevator. It might actually be down here, Jared. And I'm going to hit record on this. Let's go to SLS. So. All right. All right let me call, call this elevator. elevator Jared. And then you want me to go? Yeah, get it out of here, you little scam. All right. Yeah. Good luck. All right, guys. We're in the. Who wants the elevator? Go on to level three. Oh. Definitely an older elevator. Here we are. Level three. The architecture of this place is amazing. Check out the staircase. Oh. Elevator just closed. Is it going down? Just note it's pointing to level two at the moment even though we're on level three. So, I don't know how reliable those arrows are. I think this is it. All right guys, this is the Glover room. This brings back some memories. All right, there goes Jared. You can see the little thing going up. Also, if you see these dots projected on the wall, that's coming from Ghost Tube SLS over here. It's bursting infrared light out to detect depth and then looking for human shaped figures. So we'll pick up if anything comes through uh, the actual elevator or if there's any human shaped figures mapped down there. But now we're alone down here. Put more infrared light on. In the basement area. 
first things first guys I'm going to set up a REM pod and I'm going to set it up right where I feel as though something touched me on the head which is right here so as I had my stuff on the floor like right here and that's where I was leaning over and then yeah it poked me right on the head so let's put this down That room there is a very special room. That is the ritual room. Might take you in there in a minute, but right here is where Amy saw that strange orb. Well, it actually moved all the way across the room, but it ended up there. We were sitting here doing an experiment, watching this door when the handle jiggled. As you can see, it's a very, that sort of noise there. That's what we heard last time. I did bring Ghost Tube with me so we can do a little Ghost Tube session up here. Let's see if we can talk to whatever it was that made that noise last time we were here. Or, dis or debunk it. I don't, I don't know, we might find something in here that makes that noise. Now, if there is anybody around, I don't know if you remember me. I visited a couple of months ago and felt as though I was poked in the head. Yeah, that's very funny. <laughs> but I don't know if you were doing that because you thought it was funny or you were trying to give me a sign that there was something wrong with my eye. Turns out that I had a uh, hemorrhaging retina or bleeding on my retina. I had a retinal tear and I could have gone blind if that was left untreated. And also now I have glasses so you might not recognize me with the glasses on. But these help me to see. Do you have anything to say about that? I can hear a cricket. That's a very strange noise to hear down here. Sorry if the camera's a bit shaky, I'm not used to doing this selfie thing. Was there somebody here with us last time we were here? And is there somebody here this time? Can you give me a sign that you're here? Can you move that chair? Can you give me a sign? Is, that? is there anyone around that would like to give me a sign to tell me that you're here? What date is it? Oh, what the heck? Um, the date. It's the 29th of June, 2021. Did you just make a loud noise over there? What date is it? 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 That scared me because I heard a noise and then I'm like burning up. Oh my God. Sorry guys, I'm just like, Dripping off. I'm gonna go investigate the noise. The magnetometer just went super high. Is there somebody over here? I don't know what that was. It's 
So I had a loud tap. It's not someone coming down the elevator, is it? I don't know what that noise was. Am I alone in here? Is there somebody else down here? Just to check. That little arrow, it's still up on the third floor. So I don't think by default this particular elevator or lift returns to ground floor. I didn't realize I was sitting next to this when I sat here to check it out. I'm hoping that's paint. Yeah. Colors. Colors. What's your favorite color? So guys, this is the ritual room. The Freemasons perform their rituals. If you want to learn about that and see the room in more detail, go check out our previous videos. What's your favorite color? You trying to tell me something? If you come close to the device on this chair next to me, like this, you can make that weird dial tone noise, just to let me know that you're here. Maybe that's too close, maybe I'll put it over here, they might feel a bit more comfortable sitting next to me like that. Can you come sit next to me just here? Alright, so I did get a little bit... Sacrifice. That's kind of creepy. I know there's like rumours that Freemasons do sacrifices, but honestly, that's all they are, guys. Well, from what I've been told. <laughs> I'm just going to calibrate the magnetometer again. It's super high. Maybe there's something. it's something to do with this particular room. Can you tell me what you think of my new glasses? I don't know if you remember me. I don't feel too bad down here, but I've honestly like, my voice feels like it's cracking a bit. Like sometimes that will happen to me if I'm really nervous. And I do kind of have a feeling like there's somebody else down here. But I'm alone. Where are you? Can you tell me where you are? Can you poke me on the head again? So I've just taken my glasses off, but I do just want to thank anybody who might be in this room. I don't know if it's Thomas Fax, who, you know, a lot of people say still Hospital. lingers. No way. Okay, guys, hospital is relevant. We received some responses last investigation to do with hospital, and this place was... We did function as a wartime hospital during World War II. You're joining me for a ritual.
I'm more curious about this door handle than anything. Were you playing with the door handle last time we were here? Guys, check out this dagger. They've got some really cool artifacts here actually. The noise that we heard could have came from this door actually as well. Was this the door that you were jiggling last time? Actually, it's a lot more squeaky. It might have been that one. What's behind this door? Can you walk over to the bar over here? Come up behind me. Maybe you can touch my hair, you can poke me again. Priest. Priest. Okay, so to be a Freemason, one of the criteria is to believe in a higher being, such as, I guess, a godlike entity. So I guess priest could be a Freemason. Were you a Freemason? I honestly feel like there's somebody else in the room with me. There is a bit of traffic noise. I'm just making notes. Someone is tooting their horn. Just the cricket again. Guilty. Guilty. I don't think that... Are you guilty of jiggling the door last time we here? Was it you? Like, this place isn't a courthouse, but it does sort of look like one, like the architecture resembles one. It's kind of weird that maybe it was referring to jiggling the door handle, because I was asking, was it you that jiggled it last time we were here? What happens in this room here? What happens behind this door? Don't be shy. I know you weren't shy last time, so I don't know why you would be tonight. Thank you if you are trying to you talk to me, to communicate. I really appreciate that. Was this where the big portrait of Thomas was last time? Maybe it was around here. Oh, it's gone. There was a portrait here of Thomas Fax last time and now it's gone, so I'm not sure where they've moved that. Oh, it's right here. Is that it? Is that Thomas hanging over there? I've just moved backwards a little. That red light's still on the floor if you did want to show me that you're around. Oh my god. Just a chair that I walked into. Be quiet. Oh, I'm sorry. Was I being a little bit too loud? 
I'll just sit here and be quiet then for a minute. Cricket also shut up as soon as it said be quiet. I'm gonna head to back to the haunted a little bit, see if it's moved, and maybe walk around the lobby. Forward. I'm just gonna magnetic fluctuation here. You're telling me to move forward? Where are you? Are you in front of me? What is that? Okay. Uh, this is a device. If you come near it, you can influence magnetic fields and you might be able to select words out of the dictionary. And this other thing's a camera. Where are you? Do you want me to keep walking forward? Where would you like me to go? The left elevator? The right elevator? He said it wants me to go forward, so... In here? Can you do something for me? Come close to me and say something really loud. Head. Oh my god. Yep, last time I was here I got poked in the head. This, oh my god, I feel really uncomfortable here. I'm just going to put my phone down on this random chair. Oh, let me just calibrate again. In fact, I'm standing here and I feel uncomfortable. Like, goosebump, pins and needles. Humiliate. What do you say? Humiliate. What said head? That's relevant to being poked in the head. Were you trying to humiliate me? Do you feel humiliated because your portrait was moved? I'm so sorry. I'm not making you feel uncomfortable, am I? I'm sorry, this camera's really heavy. Can you step into the mirrored room? I swear I saw something move back there in the mirror. Maybe it's just me. It might just be my own reflection. It might just be me. That's really scaring me though. I'm hearing something, so I'm going to go in. This area. Maybe it's just the mirrors, but I don't like it. Is it alright if I come in? We're brave on Amy's crypt. What the frick was that? 
Oh, that's some papers holding the chair up. Uncle. What did you say? Uncle? Uncle. Someone's uncle? This feels very nerve-wracking to be in here. Now, I don't know who's with me, but a lot of people watch my channel. And last time I was here and I filmed some videos, a lot of people who watched those videos said that they had relatives who were Freemasons or even relatives that were Freemasons Humiliate. here. Humiliate, is that? Uncle. No, you did not. Safety elevator. I'm going now. I'm just give me another sign. Let's see if this elevator's gone down. That's weird. I got choked. I don't think that's relevant. But I also got the word. I also got a magnetic spike as I was leaving. That could be the sign I was asking for. But hey, they actually debunked the debunk. The elevator doesn't return. It doesn't return to the ground floor. So that makes the elevator capture we got last time much more interesting. All right, guys, heading back down to the basement to see Ames. No one's a little over. Need some elevator music. For words to come out. What the f? That's the elevators. Is it this? I swear I've seen someone move. footsteps <laughs> I heard the elevator there's just Jared okay okay how'd you go things are getting tense down here very tense how so just the words I've been getting and the feelings more the feelings you know I didn't feel too much upstairs unfortunately I didn't get a doorknob going off again or anything like that yeah but I did feel like someone was guiding me when I tried to leave the room okay. it was saying things like follow and no forward sorry and I had um, backward <laughs> Oh, I had forward. That's weird. <laughs> um, and it directed me to like this bathroom that was up there, but I didn't get anything in there really. I did debunk. Some of your commenters were saying that maybe the reason the elevator moved last time was that it was returning to it ground floor. It doesn't. It doesn't. Out. No. Yeah. So I don't know if we got anything on SLS. Scan this and see if any bodies. Oh, is that me? I'll have to look later. Guys, I wanted to keep the experiments going down here because I was getting so much activity and honestly, I'm getting quite tense down here, particularly this area. I don't know if there's someone around, if there is somebody here, thank you for trying to show me that you're here. You can poke me, you can touch me, you can do whatever you like, again. <laughs> okay, I'm giving you permission. I'll give you permission for Jared as well. He doesn't mind. My voice is doing that thing again. Um, we are going to use a tool that can be a little bit noisy. And I know you told me to be quiet earlier. But I would love for you to try to use this to talk to me. If you want me to be quiet and shut up. Just tell me and I'll, I'll stop it, okay? I'm going to sit in here because it's creeping me out in here. Right where you're standing to me on that precipice feels very cold and just like there's somebody around me. So do you want to, I don't know where you should stand. 
I might anything? just, I've got a little seat here if you don't mind. Whoa, I sunk into this thing. <laughs> Do you feel anything, Joe? Because I honestly feel um, like there's something down here. I can't explain it. I'm not feeling anything right now. You're not? You're okay? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, let's do the spirit box. Okay, so Jared and Amy here again. If there is somebody around, can you please come forward and just say hello? Say anything that you like. Tell me what hum humiliate means. What do you mean by that? I sound like a kid. Are there children in the building? I have heard stories that the caretaker's children might still be here from the past. Can you tell me why you poked me in the head last time I was here? said uncle earlier, what did that mean? I'm just gonna stand right here. This was very cold here. Can you come forward and tell us your name? Can you tell me what you're trying to convey by saying hospital? Hospital was something we picked up last time that we were at the Grand Lodge. It's like it's just stopped. Where when, did it go? When I came down. My feet doesn't like me being here because you? you got touched when I wasn't here last time as well. Yeah. And I honestly felt like there was somebody around. Maybe it's just, you know, me getting into my own head. Wow, there's something here that can physically touch me, you know what I mean? So that freaks me out more than a normal haunting. Well, I guess other hauntings could potentially touch me, but they never have. I just wanna say again, thank you so much. If you were trying to give me a sign about my eyes, I'm learning to accept my glasses. <laughs> they do help me a lot, thank you for that. Can you hear that? I heard like a laugh. I heard something moving around. Yeah, I heard something. On the other side of the doors. It sounded like, it, 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 like kind of like a goat, but also like a laugh. Are alone down here? Maybe. Could it have been the elevators maybe? I don't know. I have heard a story about a girl being followed down here by a man and she walked out of these doors and was walking through here and he was kind of following her the whole way so I mean things could happen out here as well
So many people have cited a woman here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We are Who's coming towards me? Ooh, wow, that was spot on. We're about to say you right now. Up top. Felt like something was leading us up or come towards my hand. All right, Crypt Keepers, I am going to leave the basement now. Reason being, everything has gone, like it feels different again since Jared's come back down. Even the cricket has started to chirp again. So before Ghost Tube said, be quiet. And even the cricket was like, okay, I'm gonna shut the hell up. <laughs> so there's that. And he, yeah, he's chirping again. So we're gonna head upstairs and do some other experiments because we're not done here yet. So please make sure that you're subscribed because we have a part two video coming up very, very soon. But I do want to thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That really helps me out. If you wanna do any more reading about this place, head to amyscrypt.com. You can also follow me on social media. I'm at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.